it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. How you doing today? Today is Tuesday. Um, at this time, the time, next week we'll be at Boggy Creek. I'm so excited. Uh, I want to welcome you guys into um, my filming room, my husband's room, I don't know, to my channel. <laughs> uh, let's see, I have... I have a few things to show you uh, that I've made. Small things. <laughs> I have not done much since the last video I made. Um, I worked all weekend and, you know, I was tired. And I did not do much crocheting. I just didn't have the energy to decide what to make, to be quite honest with you. Um, I have a couple of things on the hook, a couple of things to finish. Uh, we're trying to get ready for for the vacation. And do you guys ever have that where you're just like, I don't know, I don't know where to go next. Um, I have my Sophie's Universe that I want to finish. I need to concentrate. I'm not sure where I am in the pattern. So it's going to take me some time to figure out where I am and where I'm going with that. And it's a lot of yarn and it's a, you know, big, huge book if you haven't ever seen it, which I didn't bring up here. It's downstairs. Um, and, and it's going to take me some brain power to get back into it. I don't think it's actually hard to do, but I I've, by the time I can sit, have had the time to sit down and, and work on something, like, mm, I, I don't have the brain power for that. Same with uh, the multivalence. It's not a, I'm using uh, like salt and cakes or twister cakes, that kind of thing with it. So it's, does, it's not going to take up a lot of space, but I don't know where I am. I don't remember all the stitches that I've made that I know, like I've learned. And then there's like that extended double crochet or some, some weird or single crochet or something. Something weird, and I know I have to do that again, and I don't even remember how to do it. So that's, that's going to take some, like, brain power. And I don't know if I have it marked where I even am in the pattern. So it's I, I'm going to have to sit down and, like, I think work with it to figure out where I am. Um, and I haven't had the energy to want to do that. So those are, and then I have uh, also the other project that I need to work on is um, the shawl from Pamela Doring's Crochet, which I think comes out this month, you know, February, I think it might be in the February uh, crochet catalog. I tested it. The pattern is great. I just never got around to finishing it. And, and it's an easy repeat, as I recall. Um, but again, I have to figure out what I'm doing with that. So I didn't get that out. Um, I have to, uh, make the sweater, uh, from Mad Mimi, uh, Laura. She did that sweater, sweater in three weeks and challenged me to make a sweater as well. And I bought the yarn and I cast it on and then it's sitting there. Um, yeah, I haven't picked that up either. All the same reason. I'm like, no, I'm tired. Um, so what I, and then there's the, you know, the stuffed animals I want to make, the unicorn and the cow and a big stingray. Well, I have a unicorn in a book and then I have a horse in another book that I kind of wanted to do the horse pattern so it would stand up. Everybody said do the horse pattern, my except my daughter. She said, no, do the unicorn pattern. It's softer and squishier. Well, I wanted to make it out of blanket yarn. So I, I then found a tutorial on YouTube of a um, amigurumi, I mean, a, a crochet where you make the legs and then sew the body and sew the legs in as you make the body. I'm like, that's what I want to do because less sewing is a good thing. And then I think the head and the body are all one piece. I think after that, it's like pretty much all one piece. You have to sew the ears and the horns on, I think. Um, and I might be wrong about that, but it, that's the way it looks. 
So I'm get out my blanket yarn and the tutorial is with the four weight yarn. Maybe even a three weight yarn. But I'm going to use blanket yarn. Well, I get the first woof made. It is literally this big around. I'm like, this is going to be a life size. Amagurumi, I'm not making that out of that yarn. So I did pull other yarn to make it with. I pulled out some sparkle yarn. Then in the meantime, uh, I was talking with Joe from Joe's Web and she said, try these that she just made. And so um, she had the pattern that she was, she's going to send me the pattern um, because I, uh, she had the pattern for it. She could give me uh, or give me the link to, I think is what she's sending me is the link to the pattern. Um, and, and so she was doing that last night, I think. I haven't checked my email for the pattern yet, but she was sending me a link to the pattern. And so I think I'm going to make that out of the blanket yarn, but I still want to make the Amagurumi uh, unicorn out of the four weight yarn. And I picked out, I have some Karen Party Sparkle. And so I'm going to crochet that, I think, in the car on the trip. I've been also trying to figure out what I'm going to crochet in the car. Uh, so I found, I, I want to crochet that in the car, and I have it packed. Uh, I don't think, see, when you crochet in the car, it's easiest to do something that's a very simple repeat that you can just figure out in your brain what you're doing. And just no pattern, not lots of yarn changing and all of that kind of thing. Because you, you, you have very limited space. I have a bucket seat, you know. Um, so I am going to take, I think, the the Amigurumi unicorn that I have the four weight yarn for. Um, but the Amigurumi that Joe made, I'm, I might want to take the yarn for that too. Um. But that, then I got to take this big, huge bag of batting, you know, fiber film. So I'm debating. Um, but I am going to take, I have this project that I found. Um, I don't know if you've been a lot around for a long time. You might remember this. When I started this before I went to Mexico, when Chloe graduated high school three years ago. <laughs> I worked on it in Mexico, like on the airplane. I had started it so I knew what to do before we before we took off, you know, like the week before we went on vacation. Then I worked on it um, on the plane. I worked on it um, a little bit here and there while we were on vacation. Um, like if they were all swimming, but I needed to be out of the sun, um, you know, because it was too much for me, I would you know, got too hot or whatever. And when we weren't out doing an excursion or whatever, uh, I would work on it. I worked on very little, I will tell you, while we were on vacation in Mexico. Then I worked on it on the plane on the way back. Uh, and I just knew I would get it done while we were there, but I did not. And I have not picked it up since. Um, so it's been sitting as a forgotten whip in a drawer mm, like three years. And I thought, well, I don't even know if I'll remember the pattern. Uh, and I don't know where I got the pattern. It had to be a YouTube tutorial. But I am using... Um, it's very beaten up. But Stitch Studio uh, from Nicole, by Nicole. This was an AC Moore yarn. Um, and it is... It, it ends in the white. Uh, I had this in a... Um, like a cake bag, uh, but that isn't going to travel well. So I put it in this bag that I believe I got from Anita from YOH. If you don't know Anita, any of these people that I mentioned, I will um, put in the description box below. And please check them out if you don't know them because they're all very good and creative. Uh, so this is it starts at the, you know, navy, and then it, or, well, I guess, I don't know, bright blue, 
and then you've got some multiple colors because this uh, ombres and then you go into this it's like darker blue again I guess uh well this and then it goes from this light blue then it gets this dark blue in it and then it just goes with the dark blue and a white and then to the white um I used to love AC Moore it was my favorite store to buy yarn they only had them here for about a year and a half and then they went then the whole company went out of business I was so disappointed um I would like make excuses as to why I had to go to AC Moore and they always ran really good sales which maybe is why they went out of business I don't know but this is a really easy stitch um I don't remember the name of it I don't have it written down this was before I kept a journal uh but you I don't remember how you started off like how many you chained or what it, well you didn't chain much because you started at the point um and you increase on the sides but it's two row repeat uh so you have like the shell and then the next row is just chains and single crochets and then the next and a v-stitch and then you do your shell and the v-stitch and some chains and single crochet and anyway this is what it's looking like and it's a good size um it's the width of my wingspan already <laughs> already it's been three years uh but i mean i'm at that point and you saw how much yarn i have left uh so it, i love this yarn for shawls it is it's wonderful yarn for a shawl this kind of weight yarn or a summer wrap um maybe even like a summer throw would be good out of that kind of yarn i really want to do a really lightweight summer throw um so anyway, I'm using a four millimeter hook. I did remember that. I don't know why I remembered that, but I did. Uh, so I'm using a four millimeter hook with that. And this is going to be like an awesome crochet in the car project because it's little. It'll sit in this little bag. Um, my hooks and all that that I take, I keep in this. I have a bigger one that has all of my hooks, but the hooks that I am currently working with go in here. And I have... It, it has a lot of stuff in this little, it's like a pencil thing. Uh, and it says, be positive. I'm sure it came from Hobby Lobby. Um, but I have scissors in here. I don't know why, but I do have a thimble in here. I have a pencil. I have a bunch of just the plastic stitch markers. And I have a couple of the big ones that fit on your knitting needles. Um, the projects I'm working on right now, I'm using my four millimeter. Um, my, I, this one stays in here. My six millimeter is my go-to. Uh, I have some of these little clips that Naomi sent me. Um, my darning needle is buried in here somewhere. Uh, I'm going to be making some amigurumi, so I have stuff for amigurumi in there. Uh, and this is, it goes with me this is what goes with me in my crochet bag all the time my my to-go bag or it sits next to me on the couch is everything i need right at my hand right at my fingertips and i have a bigger one that has extra of all of that stuff i have clippy clips in there to clip the ball bands together and um everything always goes in there so that is a project that i'm taking with me then I'm going to take my hooker versus hooker with, uh, again, Laura from Mad Mamie's Crochet and Farming and Jan, the Alaskan crapper, crafter. <laughs> uh, they are doing a monthly challenge uh, where they have, um, just real briefly, it's the two of them plus a volunteer podcaster and a volunteer subscriber. The, and it's a challenge to make whatever there's a two people um i don't know if one has to be a podcaster and one a, a subscriber um or or if it could just i think that's what it 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 is but i'm not sure i don't remember um anyway the the two about the two other people that are not part of the challenge 
um, they pick a, pa a pattern, type of pattern, and yarn colors, uh, two to five colors, and they challenge the four crafters to, the four hookers, I should say, uh, to make that project in the month. Uh, they have one month to make it, and then they go live and show what everybody made out of the four of them. Uh, they show what everyone made, and then the people, the, the watchers, the people watching the live, participating, get to vote as to who has the best project. So we did a sample, a test of this in like November, I think, October or November, and we made a wreath. Um, the two pickers picked a wreath and they picked four colors or five colors that we could put in the wreath. And you were allowed, everything had to be made from yarn except the wreath form. The form you didn't have to make, you could buy a wreath form. Um, I came in second place the subscriber came in first place and oh my god she did fabulous um i'm really bad at names but i think her name was brenda this past month for january this is when they officially started for january um they had to make a bag now i participated uh but i'm not up on on the live my what I make doesn't count everyone can still participate and you send them a picture they have a, a hooker versus hooker email you send them a picture and Jan puts up a slideshow of everything that everyone turned in and made um so uh the podcast the the um subscriber won again with the bag Deirdre hers was fabulous I mean, not that everybody else's wasn't good, but her, the, the subscribers are stealing the show. Uh, so now for February, I was a picker. Uh, they needed a volunteer picker, and I have told them, uh, Jan and and Laura, that if they need, you know, a volunteer for whatever, um, because they don't have enough people. Uh, you know, wanting to participate that month, they can throw me in. I'll do anything. It doesn't matter. So they needed an extra picker, a, a pattern picker or a color picker. Uh, so Anita from YOH and myself were the pickers this month. And we just worked together to pick a pattern, you know, idea and uh, yarn colors together. So we decided on, they have to make a plant, some type of plant. It could be a vine, it could be a flower, it could be in a pot, it could just be, you know, an individual flower. Um, but they have to use, we picked four colors of yarn. Uh, green, this is what I'm using. This is green. Uh, my daughter for Christmas bought me a crochet amigurumi kit, um, plants for the family. We already used and made this one, but we used four white yarn because she wanted to teach me, she wanted me to teach her how to make amigurumi. Um, and I would show that to you, my completed one, but I gave it away. So I don't have it anymore. And But we used four white yarn because this yarn is very small. It's a two weight and I thought it would be too hard for her to work with because um, she has to counter stitches, which... Amanda can crochet. She's taught herself mostly. Uh, she'll do tutorials a little bit and then she goes off on her own. But she does not like to count stitches. And I'm like, you have to count stitches. So I wanted them to be big enough and easy enough to count. Uh, and hers turned out fabulous. Uh, there was a couple of times she thought she was going to burn it. But um, she did do it and, and it was awesome. So the kit came with this for green. So I'm going to use that. Um, and I'm going to, it came with two different color browns, but I'm going to use this brown. Just these little, aren't they cute? They're like little minis, uh, that are not wool. <laughs> and we picked yellow because flowers a lot of times have a yellow center. And, uh, let's see, I have another one of those. And we picked purple. Uh, so the only 
yarn in this size. This is the only purplish color I had. So this is the purple that I am using. And I'm going to make, um, this is the patterns that came with, with the kit. Uh, I'm, I want to make, I think, the big one. I think I'm going to make the big one because I made this little tiny one over here. Uh, oh, wait, over here on this side. I made this little tiny one. This is what we made first that I gave away. Um, and maybe I'll make this one. I'm going to make one of these two um, because I haven't made this style. But I've already, these two are like the same. This one's just taller. So I think I'm going to make one of these two. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, I think, the pot in the purple. And then the flower will be yellow and purple. It's got like, if I do this big one, it's got like little yellow flowers up the side. Um, I think they're actually supposed to be yellow, pink and white, but so maybe they'll be purple and white or purple and yellow, little flowers up the side and then a purple flower on top. So that's what I'm going to make. Uh, I will put the plastic eyes in. I don't know if that disqualifies me. It doesn't matter. I'm not part of the challenge. I did not use eyes on the original one that I did, um, that I gave away. So maybe I won't use the eyes. I don't know. I'm still going to use a four millimeter hook. I think, um, that's what I've been making the amigurumis with. Uh, uh, that yarn is Alera from Ice Yarns. Uh, I actually got it from the Yarn Geek, um, where she'd let you buy individual colors. And I bought like Alera every color they had. So that's what I'm making my my little keychain amigurumis out of. And that yarn is the same size. So um, I that's the only purple color that I have. So that's what you'd think I would have had a darker purple too. But there wasn't one in my... So I either used it all or I didn't have it. They didn't have a color because I think I did get every color that they had. But when you bought it from uh, the yarn nut, that's it, the yarn nut, um you could buy just one skein. So I could buy one skein of every color instead of like an eight pack of every color. So that's what I bought. But anyway, um, I'm going to take that on my trip. The bag is little, so it'll still, even though it's a lot of different colors, um, you work with one color at a time. Uh, I mean, it's not uh, like you make the pot so it'll be all purple the whole time. And then, um, you make the dirt. Um, so then it'll get, if I'm doing the big solid cactus, I'll just use all the green at once. And then you, I'm sure you add the flowers later. If I even add the flowers, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how much of a pain in the rear end that is in the car. <laughs> uh, to determine if I add flowers or not. So I'm going to take that with me. Then I have um, the pink heart blanket, uh, the Donna Cooper pattern. I'm going to take that with me. But I don't know if I want to crochet that in the car. But I know Nancy's going to want to crochet. You know, we'll have downtime and we'll sit and chat and crochet. Uh, but you change colors every two every two rows. So that might be a real pain in the rear to, to do. You know, in the car to change colors every two rows. So, but I'm going to take it just in case. Um, I might. So I'm going to take the amigurumi, the blanket, or the unicorn amigurumi, the blanket, and these two little tiny projects. And I hope that's enough crochet to take. I usually take like 10 projects and work on two or one when I'm on vacation. So I'm going to limit myself to less projects and hope I don't run out of projects. Um... We're planning on doing a lot of driving. Uh, we're going to be in Florida with Nancy for a week. And during that time, we're going to uh, Boggy Creek. And then I don't know what else we're doing during that week. Uh, but then on the way home, we, Roy and I are stopping a lot of places and looking at a lot of things. Looking at a lot of different neighborhoods along the coast. Um, so... It'll be a lot of time spent in the car um, where I will have crochet time. But if I run out, maybe I'll bring another 
I don't know. We could always stop at a store and I could buy some yarn. God forbid I buy yarn. Um, so then I have a couple of finished objects. I have, because I don't think I'm going to get on before, again, we're Boggy Creek tomorrow night uh, on Wednesday night. But I don't think I'll get on YouTube again before before I leave. Um, I don't. I just don't think I will. If I do, I don't know what I'm going to have to talk about because I'm talking about everything right now. <laughs> I'm already a half an hour in. I guess I could really stop with that and just make this what I'm taking on my trip and do another one with my finished objects. But there's only a couple. Um, and they're small. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what I'll do I'll stop this video now and then I'll do a second video of finished objects that way it won't be too long um, I know you guys don't mind too long videos uh, I don't like to go more than a half an hour and I'm at 25 minutes so let's do that let's do that I think that's a good idea um, so I'm going to stop this video now and I want to thank everyone for watching and subscribing and being my yarny friends uh, and then I will pick up from here to a second video to release the next day. That way, um, it's not too long. Because, uh, yeah, that's what I'm comfortable with. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I will see you guys in another video tomorrow, Wednesday, or maybe Thursday. Uh, maybe Thursday, because Wednesday is Boggy Creek. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I'll see you guys later. Bye.